Congratulations, bro. What's up, guys? Jamie O'Brien here, coming to you from my house at Pipeline. I just recently won Wave of the Winter for the second time. Ooh. So what makes these two waves different? We're gonna talk about my 2015 wave that I won Wave of the Winter on, and we're gonna talk about my 2019-2020 wave that I won Wave of the Winter on. Wow. Let's cut to the clip. Let's go! I can break it down like whatever you want. For 2015, this wave was incredible. I remember there was probably a hundred guys out of pipe, and when I saw this wave, I was like, oh my God, nobody sees what I see. So. Here, I'm starting to paddle. I'm just about to start to get up. I'm trying to think what lines I'm gonna actually take on this wave. So as I drop in on this wave, I'm looking up at the lip line thinking, oh, I'm pretty deep right here. So I'm gonna have to pivot all my weight on that front foot and get moving. So as I get to the bottom, I, I release my hand off the rail and I do this big backside pump, boom, and set my line. I mean, look at the section in this line in front of me. I'm just gunning for the shoulder as hard as I could. So as I pull up the first pump, I set my line. I'm like, okay, I'm really deep. So I do another pump and then this wave, I'm like right on the foam ball on the cusp of like not making the wave. And I remember at that point, I was like, oh my God, the wave backdraft where the spit goes in before it goes out and it just spit once. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on in here? I just couldn't see anything for about like three or four seconds. So look at this spit. It was a huge first spit. And I'm still in the barrel. And then it's double spits. And then next thing you know, I just came flying out of the tube. I was like, oh my God, what just happened? It was insane. And I remember like kind of just kicking out and like really like disbelief, like, wow, did I really make that wave? When I got to the beach, my friends were high-fiving me. They were psyching. They were like, oh my God, that was like wave of the winter. And I was like, no way. Yeah. He's sick. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I was psyched to put one on the map right there. And let's break down the next wave. Growing up here on the North Shore of Oahu, it was always like, oh, who, who got wave of the winter? It wasn't like you got a check and, and they had this big award ceremony. People just kind of knew who won wave of the winter at the end of the year. And, and so now to have it be in a contest and it's just icing on the cake. Let's cut to the clip. You're a barbarian, a savage. 2019-2020 barrel of the year at Pipeline, wave of the winter. This wave was Absolutely incredible. First off, I saw the set stacking out the back and I was like, oh my God, this is like the ideal wave I want to catch at Pipeline. Check this out. I'm just barely getting over the ledge. Guys are paddling over the top of this wave. I'm thinking right here, this is going to be a late, late wave. There's a boil right here, right below us. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna run straight over the boil. You generally try not to run over the boil because it's just water disturbance and it could hit your fins and send you any which way. You might not go left, you might go straight over the fall. I made it over the boil, but it gave me a little bobble. I kind of like lean forward right here. You could see on my hand, I'm grabbing rail really tight. I'm like thinking at this moment, like I don't want to let go of this rail. And then I remember setting my line, looking at this wave, and I'm like, oh no, I might be too deep. And like, that's definitely one of the scariest things that pipe is when you're too deep. Basically, right about here, I was like, oh my God, I'm deep. So what I did is I adjusted my line and I got like another little pump up. And that was kind of my last pump into this barrel, into setting my line. As I just start to get into the deepest point of this whole wave, the thing is going super square and starting to get a little smaller and compressing in the barrel. And we're looking out going, wow, this is such a sick wave. And then right then it just does this. It starts spitting super hard. And as the spit clears up, I drop a lower line on the wave and I come out. I'm like, oh my God, I just made this wave. And I was like, so psyched. The thing just spit again, kind of like the 2015 wave, which was crazy. I came around, did a nice big cut back and I jumped off in the celebration. And I remember looking at the GoPro and I was like, wow, that was such a good wave. Like, wow, that's where I got all in it. Boom. I was like literally psyching. And I mean, just to get one of those waves was amazing. It was insane. Well deserved, well earned. The 
difference is I feel like the wave from 2019 is a little bit bigger and it was a pretty like long drawn out wave and it had that big X factor, that big spit. The drop was pretty late. I felt like 2019 wave, 80% I was gonna make it the whole time until there was like this one point where I'm like, I might not make it. The wave in 2015 was a little bit smaller, but it was like pedal to the metal the whole time. So I did these like huge pumps, like no ham pumps inside the barrel. And the thing was like spitting, I was on the foam ball. So that's your breakdown on the two waves and how different they were from each other. It's priceless. Way of the winner. First time, two time winner. It's like, it's a crazy time. It doesn't stop now. This is just the beginning for me and it's gonna take me until I'm so old to sit here watching it. Maybe I'll master it when I'm like 80. I'm just like sitting on the porch like, what's up, Grumps? <laughs> just watching all the kids in my rocking chair like, <laughs> Oh my God, what's going on in here?